So Chris Trigg, success in your second round. How do you feel? Well, I feel the way I should feel. Basically, um, if you kind of break up the letters of my name, it actually spells winner. So it doesn't, then, does it? It does if you look deep into the original letters that are there. Who, ne who needs ends when you've got winners? Aryan prize. <laughs> <laughs> Aryan prize. So what? So what made what made you the victor? Um, what was the difference? It was the entrepreneurial spark which you you asked for in this task well that nobody else seemed also, to provide. And also sucking a lot of penises. You're watching this in high definition. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, I I had the the pure spark that Duncan was looking for to be his best man. I think it was fixed because you're related, so that's my opinion. Well, your team wasn't moving because Duncan obviously doesn't like blacks. If it was fixed because we were related, then Duncan surely I would have Duncan chosen him like in the first place. No, because fat. what you did was you intentionally made him not win the first one so that now when he won, then it would not seem like you cheated. Why didn't I just choose him in the first place and not have a comp contest? Well, no, because that would be too easy. <laughs> you wanted to make an elaborate sham and you know, I think you've succeeded, so well done. See, the problem with Scott is, this is my interview and he just tries to take the line out of everything. He just wants to be liked. Oh, we're going the wrong way, aren't we? By people, he's taking money off. Especially by your mum, but she loves me. By the Aryan race, so one day when we take over, he doesn't get fucked. Uh, Hi mum. This is good, this is good TV in particular. Have you got anything else to add about the contest? This could definitely be on BBC Three. <laughs> uh, where, did the, where did the other teams fail? Well, because they didn't actually have a plan. In My fairness, though, we did win. Like, really. The, like, the question, the question, really is to, the question is to Chris on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other teams fell because they just chanced it, whereas I've, I felt like I had a sound plan that was actually about a business model that made money because girls love cake. Scott. Obviously, second place. Yeah. However, your team earned more than 50% more than any other team. Correct. What was your downfall? Um, not collecting uh, people's postcodes, but you know, in reality, we collected the most money for charity. And really, scrounge. That's the most important thing, isn't it? Scrounge. So, really, money. I feel that we, really we're the winners. We're the winners, really. But you know. Yeah, but obviously, if you actually you take want to the talk task, about rules. if you take the task on what the task is based on, I think he was on, talking to me actually. So, <laughs> sure. so you know, like we, we, everyone knows morally we're the winners, but you know, it didn't pan out on a particular occasion. Well, that's it. And Rosie, Karen, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Karen, what are your views on the whole event? I'm very pleased what with made it? the outcome. You didn't want Bradwell to win, did you? What made it? What made it successful? For Everyone's entrepreneurial spirit. They showed pure business acumen. And I think that's all. That is all. That's all I've got to say on that. Do you have anything further to add to that at all? Nothing at all. Nothing at all? Nope. You're certain? Yeah. That's it then. Thanks for watching.